finding the measures of central tendency is a way of looking at data and interpreting it to find a trend or a middle value. There are three measures of central tendency we'll look at today and those are mean, median, and mode. And you may have heard of one or all of these before. Let's look at mean. You may have heard this as the term average. And a lot of times we average our marks or students' heights in class. And to find the average, we add up all the values. So we're going to add all values and then divide by how many values there are. So we're going to divide by how many values there are. Let's look at this example. They give us the daily sales for the lobster shack. So they're giving us one, two, three, four, five values. And if we were to find the mean, we would add these up. So 340 plus 510 plus 260 plus 450 plus 170 and divide by how many there are. So we said there's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to divide by five. If I add up all these top numbers in my calculator, I'm going to have 340 plus 510 plus 260 plus 450 plus 170 and then I must hit equals. So that equals 1730 and I still have to divide that number by the five values. So now I'm going to divide that by five and I get 346. So this is 346. So our mean or average daily sales is $346. If I'm trying to find the mean, we can consider this as the middle value. The thing you must consider when finding the median is you must remember to rearrange them from smallest to largest. So let's do that right now. The smallest is 67. We're looking at Lucy's test scores. The next largest is 74, 76, 79, 81, and 82. Okay, now I'm looking for the middle value. So if I start counting them off, here's my two middle values. And when you have two, you need to take the average. So if we remember how to take the average, we add them together and divide by how many there are. There's two. So if I put part, punch that into my calculator, I have 76 plus 79. Make sure I hit equals and then divide by two. I'm going to get 77.5. So the mode of those marks would be 77.5, or median, sorry. If I look at her test scores here, we've added an extra one. So let's write them again in order from smallest to largest. Our smallest number is still 67. And then we're going 72, 74, 76. And we have 79, 81, 82. Now when we go to find our middle value, we should have just one left. And that will be our median. So our median, therefore, is 76. So when you have two values in the middle, you have must take the average of them. When you have one value in the middle, that's just your median. The last one we're going to look at is mode. And this is the number that occurs most often. Now it doesn't always have to be a number. Sometimes we have categorical data, so it'll be a type or a word. 
So let's look at this example. It's a favorite season. Do you see how these aren't numbers? We're going to look for the one that occurs most often. So this is like someone took a survey and they were asking what your favorite season was. So I have two falls. I have one, two winters. One, two springs and I have three summers. So the one that occurs most often is summer, since there's three. So the mode of this data would be summer. Looking at the next one, it's a student's shoe size. So again, they took a survey in their class. We have one, two, three, four size five shoes. One, two sixes two sevens, and two fours. So the one that occurred most often was size five, because there was four people with a size five. So the mode of this data would be size five. And there you have it, the three measures of central tendency, mean, median, and mode. Mean was the average, where we add them all up and divide by the number of values. Median was the middle number, always remembering to order them from smallest to largest first, and mode was the number or value that occurs most often. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.